Hey, honey. My love. Oh my God. Six missed calls? What's going on? Hello, how are you? Where have you been? I told you I was on my way, right? You said you were on your way an hour ago. Oh yeah. I lied to you. I was doing the last round. You were taking your last word? <laughs> You're crazy. Good for you, your husband is back. I'm done. I I'm going out already. Even though I'm tempted to take another one. Please, Ma. We will not be waiting for you all day. You better tell us if you're coming or not. <laughs> no, I was joking. I'm coming. Okay, see you soon. Now that you've talked of another round, it gives me ideas. Ah, sweetheart, I also want you. But I can't keep them waiting so mm, long. <laughs> just 15 minutes. That's what we said not long ago, but here we are 30 minutes later. You're the one who complains all the time. My love, I'm not going out tomorrow. You're not also going out. We will have all the time to do what we want. But now I have to go, please. Okay. I think I'm also going out to see Eve. Okay, darling. Mwah. It's more than 30 minutes she said she was leaving the house. Try to understand. Let her have some time with her husband. They have stayed two weeks without seeing each other. We are together almost every day. You always agree with what is wrong. Is he a new husband? How can you say I spot what is wrong? And Sophie, you can serve us, okay? Una will not come. I don't care. So I'm just 30 minutes late and you want to eat without me. Which 30 minutes? We've been waiting for two hours. Tell me, someone can no longer have a peaceful time with her husband. I wonder. Ha! Huh? So that's what you're saying now. I know the one was calling since. So tell us. I have to eat first. I'm very hungry. Quelle chaleur! C'est comme ça que doit la haie. Pas ça. Ça fait longtemps que je n'ai pas aussi bien mangé le taron. Ton épouse cuisine bien. Hein? C'est avec ça que Dieu m'a béni. Elle est vraiment un cordon bleu. Merci beaucoup, Parsa. Je t'en prie, je t'en prie. Merci, mon fils. Je vais parler à Sam et je te reviendrai. Mais ne t'inquiète pas, tout va bien se passer. Elle va accepter. <rire> Très bien, je te fais confiance. Je t'en prie. <rire> What time are you finishing today? At 9 p.m. Oh, we'll be gone already, eh? No problem. At whose place will it be the next time? I'll call to inform you. Okay. Okay, go on and tell us. No. Go said she had something to tell us. Let her start. Okay. <laughs> What do you want? Can I come in, please?
What do you want, Herman? How can you ask me what do I want? What's the meaning of the message you sent to me? What's wrong with my message? It's very clear, I think. Can you at least explain what I did? It has nothing to do with you. I want us to stop seeing each other. It's over between us. So, something which concerns both of us. You take the decision alone? I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Please, at least tell me why. But I told you in my message, I'm no longer comfortable with you. You first of all said it's not because of me. Now you say you're no longer comfortable with me. What should I think? <sighs> Herman, please don't make things more difficult. Then go ahead, why making things more difficult? You can't just say it's over and you refuse to explain why. Okay. Since you insist, it's just because the relationship is coming too serious. I don't understand. I never intended building something serious with you. In fact, with no one else. I'm not interested in getting married. If I accepted your proposal, it's because I wanted some fun. But for some time now, you only talk about marriage, being responsible or having children. I'm no longer interested in this relationship. Wait. If I can get you where you're leaving me because I'm serious? No, because I don't want a serious relationship. It's different. I don't want to give you false hopes. All this why I have. I have. I loved you and you're playing with my feelings. You can't do that to me. I love you. I refuse any breakup. I refuse. <laughs> I refuse. I refuse. I refuse any breakup. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you serious? No, it's not possible. I am serious. He cried like a child. I was shocked. Where? Then what did you finally do? What was I supposed to do? Was my house a funeral ground? I asked him to go and cry at his mom's place. Hey, Kingo, you too. You're heartless. Heartless how? What was I supposed to do? Cry with him? <laughs> it's not good. If that is done to one of your brothers, how would you feel? Not my business. He has his life and I have mine. Hmm. It's your turn, Muna. Huh? Tell us how things went with Ube. Well... Uh, he saw my sex toy. What are you doing with a sex toy? How did you hide it first for him to see it? What is a sex toy? Are you serious? She don't know what a sex toy is? Mm-mm. Mata. It's an artificial penis. In your opinion, are you serious? Wait, how do you think I survive when he goes away for two weeks? It's either this or I cheat on him. And I cannot go for the second option. Ah, uh, forget about your sex toy stories. I already told you to get yourself a young man who will take care of you and no one will know. I'm sorry, but everybody is not like you. Oh, really? What do you think he does when he's out there? I don't know, and I don't want to know. As soon as he satisfies me and makes me happy when he's around, it's okay for me. How did he react? <laughs> I don't understand why you're reacting this way. What don't you understand? It's just like you're cheating on me. Are you serious? I just bought it because I don't want to cheat on you. And what am I supposed to do? Be grateful? That's not what I said. I just want you to understand me. 
put yourself in my shoes. What should I do when I want you and you're not there? You have to resist, Mona. You resist. I'm unable to support it, I already told you. You, when you spend two weeks out there, how do you do it? Do you actually abstain? Don't change the topic, madam. We are talking about you. I'm not saying no, I just want you to understand. I don't know why you're reacting this way. I, I didn't do anything wrong. I'm just trying to get a solution to the fact that you're always far from me. So it is my fault. Why do you take everything I say wrong? Listen, if you want me to stop using it, I'll stop using it. But you need to tell me what to do when I need you and you're not there. Mm -hmm. I know you did nothing wrong. It's just that it's not easy to imagine that you're using that thing. I'm so sorry. I just forgot to dispose of it. It's okay. All right. You told me you were going to find a way to cut down on your traveling. Yes. I'm trying to see how I can manage. <laughs> can we just find a way to cut this argument and go into the room? I'm really in need of you. And what if we just do it here? Mm, uh, I don't have a problem with that. Mm. Please, spare us the rest of the details. Did you see how he reacted when you asked him how he manages when he's away? I tell you, he's having fun with little girls everywhere he goes. I can go, you too. Why do you always like throwing oil in the fire? What have I done wrong? I'm just being honest. You know, my friend, when I was getting married, my mom told me there was no faithful man on earth. That all men are unfaithful. But if he makes sure you don't know, you will never have problems. That's it. He can do all he wants to do out there. But as long as I'm not aware of anything and he continues to satisfy me, I don't have a problem. Did you tell him about the job? No, not yet. And when do you intend to do it? I don't know. I'm worried about his reaction. Who's that idiot smiling at? With you now. Who is that? He's not even my type. I would have used him to replace her man. Hey. You are terrible, Ngo. And you, Asam, how are things with Claude? We had a fight. Really? Why? I don't see where the problem is. The problem is that I don't want to give birth before marriage. Birth? We said already that we were getting married in a year. Exactly. What does it take to wait for the one year? More still, you will not give birth before marriage. If you get pregnant now, I'll make sure I'll hasten things for us to get married two months before you give birth. So now you're blackmailing me for us to get married? Which blackmail? We already said we were getting married in a year. Exactly. I do not understand why you're insisting we have a child now while we can wait for the one year. Time is passing, Asa. I'm almost 36 years old. And I'll be 37 when we'll get married. I understand. They also tried to understand me. And moreover, we had a deal. Yes, just that in that deal we were supposed to get married a year ago. But the death of my father changed everything. We have to adapt. If you can precipitate the marriage for us to give birth two months earlier, let us get married even in two months, so I will get pregnant. You know very well that if we could even get married tomorrow morning, I would do that. I, I have the impression that you're not conscious of my condition. Where are you going to? We are not done talking, Claude. Do you doubt that he will marry you? No. I know he will marry me. He would have even done so if not for his problems with his family. So, why don't you want to get pregnant? Why? I agree with her. If you're sure he'll get married to you, why do you refuse to get pregnant? 
it's a matter of principles, my dear. Sometimes one should forget his principles for a bigger cause. I hope you won't go and make a baby elsewhere. All men are not as you think. Hello. Good evening, beauties. Can I offer you another turn? When you look at all three of us, do we look like the kinds of ladies that can be bought over with some bottles of wine? It's just a way of talking. I can offer you as much wine as you can drink. My guy, the only person who could show you a little interest on this table is her. But she already said you're not her type, so leave. <laughs> I'm convinced that if she gets to know me better, she will change her mind. Bro, as she's already asked you to go, please go because when she'll get upset here, huh? Uh, she can back, but she cannot. What is wrong with you? We told you to leave, right? How is this even? Look at this funny looking guy. Uh, is it war? It is war. Are you still there? What rubbish. Mona, you too. Were you obliged to throw wine to his face? Do you doubt your friend again? I don't even know what's in their mind that every time we sit, they think we are waiting to flirt with them. They are men, my darling. They think with their third leg. What were we even talking about? You have to get a child for clothes. If she doesn't want to do it, let her not do it. But you need to know that there's no wrong in doing it. I really don't know. And you matter hard things with your baby, boo. It's okay. Everything is fine. So you have nothing to tell us? <laughs> no, not really. So you always have nothing to say, huh? I think the day she'll feel as doing so, she will. Oh, really? So we are stupid, huh? Girl, you always like... Oui, papa. Tout de suite. Ok, j'arrive. It's my dad. He says he needs to see me. I have to go. However, I also have to go. Their kids are surely waiting for me already. Why do we meet next week? My place, if you want. All right. Anyways, we'll keep in touch. Ton patron est venu me voir aujourd'hui. Mon patron, j'ai des ennuis. Est-ce fait quelque chose de mauvais? Oh non 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 non. Loin de là, il est venu parler d'une autre affaire. Quel genre d'affaire as-tu parlé avec mon patron? Eh bien, il a dit que il a un de ses neveux qui vit en Amérique. Et il veut se marier. Et c'est toi qui l'as choisi. Il m'a choisi pour quoi? Pour le mariage, bien sûr. Il veut que tu sois sa femme. Papa, tu n'es pas sérieux. Tu sais très bien que Claude et moi, nous allons nous marier l'année prochaine. Oui, mais celui-ci a de l'argent et il vit aux états unis Tu es vraiment sérieux, papa? Ça n'arrivera pas. Ça n'arrivera jamais. Tu vas épouser cet homme et aller aux états unis Maman, dis quelque chose. Je... Oh non, 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 non. non. Ta maman n'a rien à dire ici. Je suis l'homme. J'ai décidé. Je ne veux plus voir les pieds de ce Claude ici. N'importe quoi. Sweetheart, how are you? I am okay. What took you so long? The gossiping took so long. Have you eaten? Yes. I went out with Eve and went to a restaurant. I want to change and... Uh... Uh -uh. What else does Asam want? Yes, Asam. What? Calm down, please. Calm down and tell me what's going on. 
Where are you? Okay, before the taxi drops you off, I'll already be there. Okay, I'll call them. Okay, later. What is going on? It's Assam. We separated her just a while ago and she went to her parents. And now she's calling me crying. I should go and see her. Wait a moment. Are you serious? It's 10 p.m. Darling, it's serious. I have to go and see her, please. <sighs> okay, but come back before midnight. You know I don't like you staying out late. Thank you, sweetheart. You're the best. What's wrong? What is it? It's my father. He... What did he do? He wants me to get married to my boss's nephew. Your boss's nephew? Who is your boss's nephew? Exactly. I don't know him. They say he lives in the United States. My boss came to see him not long ago to make him the proposition. Wait, I thought your father was okay with you dating Claude. He agreed. And now he says he does not want to see me with Claude. Oh, come here, come here, darling, come here. Stop crying, we'll fix this, hmm? Where? Have you called Patricia? Yes, but you know she cannot go out of the house by this time leaving the kids. Hmm. So your father thinks we're still in the era where husbands were chosen for girls. He's bluffing, eh? Thank God things like this can never happen to me. <laughs> because even if we get married, <laughs> you will ask for divorce weeks later. Because the way I would treat you, <laughs> you think you're in hell. Yes, but we're not talking about you here. And given the type of education she has, she finds herself in a very complicated situation. She's lost between Claude's love and her father's will. She's a big girl. She's free to make a choice. It's not as easy as you think, go. Why don't you want to understand that? Yeah. I'm sorry. We'll find a solution. It will be okay, my dear. Don't cry anymore. Hmm? 